What we have seen today in Gaza was a horrifying display of the use of excessive force and, and lethal force. Of course, um, Israel has a long history of using excessive force against Palestinian protesters, but what we have seen today was um, extremely disproportionate and horrifying. They've been shooting life high-velocity bullets at uh, protesters who do not pose uh, imminent threat in violation of international law. We're extremely concerned that um, Israel is pursuing a policy uh, of deliberately inflicting life-changing injuries. The sheer number of people who have been shot with life ammunition, as well as the type of uh, injuries that we are, are seeing, uh, point to the fact that Israel may be um, attempting to, to inflict life-changing injuries. There, there are concrete steps that uh, states can, be, can take, and uh, that should include, uh, first of all, imposing an arms embargo, and then suspending all arms and, and, and equipment, military equipment, uh, to Israel in order to ensure that um, these are not used in order to commit serious violations.